I've left this run in for a little bit beforehand to see if it's actually going to do what it's supposed to do. I um, <clears throat> I don't know. I may. I'm trying to move in my little snowball thingy here a little closer. This is my microphone. It's pretty awesome. It's covered in soap, but how cute is it? It's like a little alien. Um, I have the flu, so <laughs> my voice is. I sound like a fella. Which is, you know, it's not the first time I've heard that. Um, yeah, no, that'll be right. Alright, uh, oatmeal. Milk and honey. Honey and oatmeal. I don't know, whatever. This is what I'm making. <laughs> um, Alright, <clears throat> this is my, all my oils and goat's milk. This is my honey. I'm putting it in now. Not a lot left in this container. <laughs> this is also the last um, soap I'll be making with um, uh, with olive oil in it. So it's a bit twisty. Check to make sure that all that is off the bottom. Yep. I have not put my oatmeal in here. Oh, there's still a tiny little bit of honey in the bottom, but. When um when the mix warms up, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, I haven't put my oatmeal in here yet. This is not colloidal oatmeal because it's too expensive. Um, this is just normal oatmeal. 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 Okay. <laughs> normal oatmeal uh, that I've run through a grinder a couple of times. Lies in here because I don't want to mix it too much when it's in. Um, honey has a tendency to make your trace go a little faster. Look, I'm so set up. Well, I had neat, I have everything all set out, all nice and neat, and I still forgot a bloody jar. No, jug. Forgot a jug. So, I'm sure I've made this for you guys before, but I'm just going to make it a little bit differently this time, just because it's such a boring soap to look at. Um, usually I just do a drop swirl, like with a little bit whiter. This time I thought I'd do layers, and do, um, well, I mean, always have little bits in it. There it is. Um... Uh, uh, gold. I'm doing using Resplendent from my micro obsession. Where's that camera? There's that camera. Yeah. So I was going to do gold in the layers, maybe, and then maybe do a little bit extra um, oatmeal in the other layers. So we'll see how that turns out. And my brand new mold. Look how clean this thing is. Look at it. It's beautiful. Look at that. Um, yeah, although I can't imagine they'll look like that after, after today. <laughs> they never usually do. Yeah, so I finally caught a cold. You know, everyone else had one. I didn't want to feel left out, so I thought I'd have one too. Which was fun. Last week was just insane. So, because today's Monday. Monday, the 11th of June. Oh, holy cow, it'll be my dad's birthday in nine days. There you go. Huh. I'd forgotten about that. I'll have to figure out what to get him. That has watermelon written on the lid. <laughs> it's not. It's lie. It's a lie. It's not watermelon. Oh, jeez. Me and my dad jokes. Um, I don't know where I was going with any of that now. No, yeah, no, last week, yeah. I had the flu, but it was the week before, it wasn't the week before. It was the week before, holy cow, I've had this thing forever. Um, I, had, um, I did the Made with Love Market Centre, Coffs Harbour, which was dreadful because it was so cold. Um, yeah, so I worked all week with the flu, never had a rest, and then all last week I worked because. Um, I had a double market this weekend. I did Saturday. Where did I do Saturday? 
Actually, I'm going to put this in two jugs. Look at these cute little things I got. Are those the cutest little jugs ever? Hello. Look at them. Two bucks each. I got those from... Oh, Price Busters, I think. Um, yeah, I did um, McLean, which is now my local market because I don't live in Yamba anymore. Um, and uh, uh, the Channon, which is an awesome market. And I also may possibly have fallen in love. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, never mind about that. But this, this, I'll get a good laugh when I edit this video. <laughs> In a couple of months, I'll be going, here, right, you dickhead. Whatever. Oh, I don't to tell you, he was just, honest to God, one of the nicest looking men I have ever seen in my entire life. And I now uh, am swayed towards dreadlocks a little. <laughs> so shut up now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's always a lovely market out there because it's just, it's so laid back and so... No, no, it's just a really cool market. All right, so in this one, I'm going to make this one just a little bit lighter. And then in this one, I'm going to add some more oats. So hopefully they'll stand out. Actually, what I might add as well. Uh, actually, no, I won't. Never mind. I changed my mind. I changed it my mind. I did. I don't know if it looks like if it's going to look like there's more oat in there. Oh, that's so wobbly. So wobbly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now, um, they're not very thick, are they? I was expecting more thickness. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to do a pale layer first. No, these are not thick enough. I don't think. I might have to whiz bang them some more. Let's do a little more. So yes, yeah, so anyway, so I have had no time to recover from my stupid flu. And um well, I did sleep until half past ten this morning and I went to bed at like half past eight last night so I did have a good sleep <laughs> and then this weekend hang on this weekend I'm doing the Bellingen markets for the first time ever so I'm quite looking forward to that because oh, I've never done them before and they're supposed to be an awesome market and my friend Bree who I have mentioned to you before he does the markets with me and she's transgendered so apparently oh the spoons are gone apparently out of Bellingen it's a very liberal town and you know they're very open towards you know the LBGT community so I'm looking forward to seeing that as well because um, I kind of get sick of people not supporting my friend you know and just judging her even when they don't know her and so it'll be nice to go to somewhere that's more open towards people that are different which is another thing about the Channon market which is awesome because it's very accepting out there too I'm finding very rainbow <laughs> all right so I'm going to pour this on the spatch um, I think this layer is thicker than the bottom layer so it'll probably move it oh yep just did then we just broke through that one um but yes next weekend should be good that's on saturday and then the weekend after that <laughs> i got accepted into the lismore light parade markets to which they're called market delight as in D-Light, 
get it lights because it's a lantern parade I'm making a giant mess here um, oh my god there's too much stuff uh, yes and apparently this uh, market has uh, this lantern parade not necessarily the markets has 30,000 people going through it so it's like Jesus that's going to be the biggest market I've ever done so I'm really really looking forward to that because it'll be interesting to see what happens anyway um and then the day after because that's on Saturday and it not only that it's a friggin nine hour market I've never done a nine hour market before um, and then the next day is the Yamba markets and then I can have a rest no I can't because then the weekend after that will be the Iluka markets again so <laughs> it never ends and I got in the trouble for not going to the last Iluka market so I can't miss them but yes <laughs> it's just it never ends but I like it like this so I'm not using the spatula because that last layer was really thick so there's just no need to do so um, yeah I'm enjoying this this is nice I love the smell of the honey and oatmeal soap it's I don't know why it's just it, it had just it's it smells different to normal soap batter I assume because of the oatmeal and the honey I don't know because everything else is the same it just has just this creamy te not texture it's a creamy smell that just sort of I don't know it's really nice to work with though I don't know how visible this gold line is going to do I was going to do black because you know any excuse to get the activated charcoal out <laughs> but I thought this soap is designed for more sensitive skin so I didn't want to put activated charcoal in it because I thought that might be just a little bit too much for people so so I didn't I thought that was probably a bad idea this is now becoming difficult because it's gotten so thick can you actually see what I'm doing? Holy cow, I'm not even hardly on the ca in the camera. Ah, sorry, guys. I was just hogging all the room, wasn't I? That's just because everything's here. Here we go, this is better. I don't know what's going on with that camera. I think it's moved too, so... I keep kicking it. I've got as much of the tripod under the desk as I can... Uh, under the workbench as I could but it's a tripod you can't fit three legs under a desk it just doesn't work I need a tripod that um that hooks to the edge of the desk maybe but um I thought about it and then I thought well if I do that then every time I bang on here the camera's gonna wobble and that would probably be annoying for you guys so I ditched that idea so yeah, so I'm always trying to come up with better ideas for everything, which just means I change everything all the time, and then people just get the shits. And it's, so Brie always says to me, "Stop changing things, stop adding new products." I'm like, "Why? That's the whole point of doing this, so I can keep being creative and do new things." She said, "Yes," she said, "but then you bring a product, and I don't know anything about it. And when someone asks me, I don't know what to say." I'm like, "Well, just say anything." <laughs> so yeah, no, I try and now remember what new stuff I've bought and explain it to her on the way to the markets so it's like all right so this has got this in it and does this and she's like she just rolls her eyes at me <laughs> she's been rolling her eyes at me for a long time now though so I'm kind of used to it yeah hit a bloody kangaroo last weekend wasn't happy about that but I was so tired it's I shouldn't have been driving I'm aware of that but um yeah heading down a coughs and um because I was so sick and every time I laid down I couldn't breathe not you know because I was full of snot and my chest was all clogged up and everything and every time I laid down 
I just, yeah, it was, I'm very claustrophobic, so when I have a cold, I don't like it, because I don't like not breathing out my nose for a start, because that's disgusting. I don't know how people mouth breathe on a regular basis. It's just not right. <laughs> so to all you mouth breathers out there, I don't care. It's disgusting, and I don't know how you all do it. Um, ooh, okay, the top. What are we doing on the top? Hmm, might just get another spoon. Um, you know what? I'm going to use the last of this. I might make this a little higher of a top. Oh! <laughs> Did you just say that? <laughs> Stupid thing. Yeah, some of them. Some of them used to do it. And what I did was I super glued them all in. Because I got sick of them. Um, but I've bought new ones since then. And so I'm going to guess this one's not super glued. Or the soap is eating through the super glue. That's... That happens. Soap will eat through anything. It's insane. Seriously, guys. Soap is the wildest thing. It eats through so much. Yeah, that's just going to keep coming off of there. So I'll just use another one. That one's good. All right. So what I might do is just even that out a bit. How am I going in camera? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty good. Is this still recording? Yes. Wow, this is a slow soap, isn't it? Alright. So someone asked me today when I was going to do my vlog. I don't know, guys. I still haven't got to it yet. It's just one of those things that I really want to do. Like, I have so many things I want to talk about. But I just... I don't have time because the camera's here and unless I like lay down on the desk, desk, I don't know why I keep calling a desk. Okay, so what I'm thinking I might do is do a little sprinkle of gold on the top. Well, so I have an apron, why can't I wipe my hands on that? Yeah, I might do a little sprinkle of gold on the top, just down the middle. And then I have some rolled oats there to sprinkle on the top and I might do those down the sides instead like that because usually I put them on the middle so yeah I'm just you guys have to tell me I, I'm gonna have to start repeating myself a lot with soaps. Now, do you want to see me make them all the time? Like, I tend to make them differently if I can. But, you know, how many times do you want to see me make monkey fart soap and, you know, honey and oatmeal soap? And, you know, I mean, if you, if you guys want to see it, I'll make it. But if you, you know, if enough of you say, you yeah, know, we're sick of watching you make that soap, then I'll stop making it. Well, no, <laughs> I won't stop making it because it sells. I'll stop making it on camera and yeah because it will get to a point where there'll be less um, soap videos right. so let's see if we can't plop this shit in here because this is gonna be massively thick now so yeah it's burr burr thick as I expected whoops a daisy oh my god this is this is, this is me today miss messy There. Get in there. Miss Messy. That's me. Get in there. You've <laughs> got soap everywhere. It's on the outside of the container and everything. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so bad. Oh dear. So yeah, so today is Monday and I was going to have a rest today, right? And yes. I have unpacked the van, I have um, done the washing, I have sorted out all the candles I need to make, I have started changing containers in my body products. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll have a rest one day. One day, one day I will sleep. 
No, I didn't. I, I, I did sleep today, so. But yeah, I just, I got to the point where I was like, oh, yeah, no, I'm a bit bored now. So, I watched one episode of my, one of my dramas. So, gold or both? Was it a gold or oats? Watch, which one? Let's just go with both. Let's just go some gold. We love the gold. Now I'm gold finger, and then that one as well. Yep, I'm childish. It's good. We all know I'm childish. Hello. <clears throat> Have you not met me? There's some small ones. No, no, I crack up at the stupidest things. I'm trying very hard not to talk about this guy <laughs> from yesterday. <laughs> oh dear, because, you know. Bree's really sick of me talking about him, but he was just like, oh, something else. Right. But, I may seem like a very confident person in these videos, but I am actually not. And there is no way I would go up and talk to a guy that I thought was gorgeous, because I just do not have the self-confidence for that rubbish. Even though we caught each other looking at each other at about... Christ, I don't know, a dozen times. Then he sat across from the stall for about, I don't know, an hour looking in. <laughs> I still, you know, I'm like, I said to Brie, nah, he's looking at you. And so she went still on the other side of the stall and he was still looking at me, so he's probably just looking at me thinking I was weird, so. See? No self confidence whatsoever. You guys don't want to hear this rubbish. Why do you want to hear this? I should stop talking. Ugh. But yeah, no self confidence. I used to have self confidence when I was younger. I think I did. I don't remember being this bad. But yeah, it's definitely as I've gotten older. But I, it's, it's funny because I don't care what people think. I'm, I went down the servo in my jammy pants the other night. Seriously. The Bree says, yeah, that's a new low for you. I went, yep, yeah, don't even care. That's how much I don't care anymore. <laughs> They're nice jammy pants, though. So, but you would not mistake them for normal pants. They definitely look like pyjamas. Still don't care. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just, I've really gotten to the point where I just really, really don't care what people think anymore. But I still don't have the self-confidence to go approach someone and ask them out. That's just, no, I don't, no, this is never going to happen. So, that's why the guy I like in the Amber is now dating someone else. But that's okay. That's what I get. That's what we all get if we don't just do the things we want to do. Ask that person out. Just do it. Don't be, don't be like Lee. <laughs> Alrighty. There we go, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know if that goes clear or not. I think it does. It's hard to tell from here. There you go. I'll clean it up, take some insty photos. And I'll see you right next. Right next. <laughs> I'll see you in a second for the cutting. <laughs> Bye. Uh, hello, time to cut this beastie. I'm going to cut it on its side so that we don't get any drag throughs of the um, stuff that's on top. Which my brain's had a fart and can't remember. Oatmeal, that would be what it is actually. I've noticed that um, some straight, which means these are a little bit too loose in Oklahoma City. Uh, does anyone get that reference? Probably not. It's from a long time ago. <laughs> oh. Tough soap. Oh, oh, it looks good. That's pretty much what I envisioned. 
I'm a bit happy with that. Isn't it? Damn it. Oh no. Really? This video is going to be screwed up, isn't it? God damn it. It's pretty awesome. And no, you can't really see the, um, oh, where's the camera? There's the camera. I'm so sorry about this. I don't know what's wrong with my laptop. There is like fucking 4 million processors running at the moment. The disk is running at 99%. I don't know whether it's got a virus, which I don't know how that happened, but... Nah! This is bullshit. Absolute bullshit. I'm sick of this. This is why I'm just I'm just about ready to stop filming stuff because it's just too much of a drama. It took me half an hour just to turn the computer on to get it ready to do anything. And then all I did was shut the lid. I didn't even turn it off. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's just driving me mental. <sighs> ah, this soap, however, is not. This soap, however, makes my heart happy. Oh, fuck me, dead. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm sick of my life being like this. Every time I fuck it in around. Every time I turn around, there's just one more fucking problem. I'm sick to death of it. Sick of everything being a problem all the time. I don't know why, just one thing can't go right. Just fucking once. It would be really nice if shit would just go right just once. You know? Anyway. I might turn it off and start it again. Maybe then I can film the other two cuttings without having stupid glitchy issues. Great. There you go. You get to hear me have a temper tantrum. Or not, because it's so fucked. Who knows?